I don't necessarily know that Lawrence is the one in trouble. No, I mean, Lawrence is the one who did it, but he definitely looks in trouble one way or another. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Okay. Just humor me. Uh... When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Uh. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for Okay. Him. And if he objects? We're here on official Fabletown business, and he can be persuasive if necessary. Or <laughs> you can. I can, yes. Okay, let me look through the window first, so. Okay, he's still in the same place he was before. Looks asleep. Um, so let's try knocking on the door then. Although that looks like there's, that is a way to get in if I need to. By the door locked okay so we'll have Lawrence. to go through the window you in there hey open up it's bigby i need to talk to you okay so i guess we're going through the window Hey. Hey. Do you think he's dead too? He might be dead too. We're going in. After the police have gone by. All right. We'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Unless there was an option Mine. I didn't realize. Oh. That could be the plates and stuff. There was definitely plates on the floor. Going on. Oh shit, he's been shot. Oh god. Poor Tweedy. That makes two people dead. We need to figure out what the hell is going on here. Who would do this to them? I don't know. I don't know. No. Seems like it's been a while. Okay. Let me... Where have you gone? What have you seen? Will you look at that? I'll look in the cupboard. Looks like Faith took all her stuff out. Oh, have they been apart for a while? Secondhand paper bags. Old encyclopedias. Anything interesting? Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Okay, okay. Coat in the kitchen. Is the water still running? Yeah, okay. Okay, it's been on. Somebody's been paying the bills. Pay the rent next week. Pizza in the fridge. Please don't look for me. Goodbye. Faith. Or F. Just said F. Just a pull down couch, is it? Looks like it. What's down here? Blood. That looks old and dark. Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something. That'll be the bed. That'll be the bed. Is it cold? Is it old? Old blood? It's still a little bit sticky, so it's not been too long then. Okay, so let's pull it down and have a look. Son of a... What is that? My dearest Faith, a 
never meant to hurt you. What did he say? Sons of the battle of my dearest faith. I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. Okay, so he tried to kill himself, maybe. I should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. Oh, he blinked. <laughs> oh my god, Bigby, he's alive. Uh, maybe I should have checked him out first, huh? What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh. What are you doing? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair, with what we thought was a fatal injury. Oh, uh, and now we have heart. to tell him about what happened to his wife. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? When was the last time you saw your wife, Lawrence? I... I don't know. A few weeks ago. She came by to get some things. That's what she said. But I, I think it was so she could leave some money. I, I didn't find it till later. We've been separated for some time now. So he killed himself so she didn't have to look Lawrence, after him anymore? what did you do? I made a decision for us. It felt like the only way out. So I shot myself. In the heart. Oh, I thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Yeah, the I bet. Actually, a little more to the center. <laughs> Probably had a lung. Great. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. That's lovely. Uh, at least that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Why is there a, a knife? Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself. I'm guessing you were hit no way her done that in some her. way. I did so what happy I could in that picture. To keep her away. In both of the pictures. But she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. Mm. I just wish I could have done better by her. God, She's always been there for me. Go away. Just fucking go away. You can't. Um, you can't lie. We can't what? lie. We Kelly. can't lie to him. She, no. killed, she got killed last night. No. No, no, no. I, oh I my god, I feel so happen. bad. No, you I'm knew? Sorry. I am. But I'm gonna need you to help me find whoever did this. So you need to try and remember anything that could possibly help us. Fucking Georgie. Georgie? <laughs> Did you kill your wife? No. Who's Georgie? Tell me who Georgie is. Do you? Are you expecting anyone? We'll see who it is. No, wait. You can't leave them to knock. I need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. I'm trying you to can't hide. Move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Vicky will arrest them. What if it's like a police officer who saw us climb through the window? I your wife. Think about your wife, love. Are we really hiding in the obvious cupboard? 
Well played. Well played, Scott. Just stay quiet, Lawrence. I don't know who that is. What's he doing? for something. Really, dude? I'd put that down. Fifty. He has a gun. Oh, fuck. <gasps> dude! Hey! Do not kill yourself, you Stay You look here. after him. No. Make sure he doesn't kill himself. Snow! Hey! Stop! I didn't come out to chase the guy. I came to stop. Snow, I can't believe you're running with me, for fuck's sake. We're gonna come back and he's gonna be shot in the head. Oh, you're okay, love. the number like wiggling. Same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. <laughs> I'm not cut out for the running anymore, dude. I'm not a wolf. Why were you looking through books, huh? The same thing you should be doing. Investigating. Looking for clues. The fuck you doing hiding in closets? Fuck, man. Fuck, man! I'm asking the questions. Oh, his name's D. <laughs> Doesn't he have like You're a brother for guy? The woodsman, right? Maybe. My employer is looking to ask Oh, a few did you go too. to Toad's place? Uh-huh. Who's, Who's your boss? Your employer. I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you like, Alice in Wonderland, that. right? Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Come on. Coming with me. This could have been yeah. easy. Yeah. <laughs> if you're like uh, dumb is behind don't me. Worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you. No, to... I'm D. He's, He's dumb. dumb. <gasps> oh. Snow didn't come with me in the end, so I'm You almost looked peaceful. I'm hoping the guy's still alive and he didn't shoot himself in the head while we were yep. gone. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yeah. With an open wound on the back of your head. Really? Huh? Uh, what happened? What do you know? What happened? Well, the one guy hit you, then the other one started kicking you. No. Oh. That's not nice. Ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad. See if there's anything there that can get us yeah, back on the trail. Yeah, I feel like the other one went to Toad while we were at this place. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It, the game does the not day. like Toad's car at all. I don't think anybody's here. Yeah. 
We came all this way for No, it looks like we took too long. Oh no. All right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Scared the kids. Is that his son? Dodds, I think. Be nice to them, okay? Okay. I'll try. Try my best. Uh, we'll speak first. Let him know that it's us. Hey, Toad. You in there? <laughs> it's Big B. Big, Big B. B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else Aww. in Luke's place. It wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. What's going on? What do you mean? Nothing's going on, Big B. I'm trying to be nice, mean. but I don't Truly. know what the nice options are, you know. all. Sorry. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking I off I feel now. like you should no talk to, to the kids. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called I us. Just, when we need to make sure that you have someone to right? it, mate, but fine. Relax. <sighs> be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. Uh, I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ, are you all right? Toad Junior. I'm guessing it's Toad Junior. There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could perhaps let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Okay. So what happened to the lamp, huh? How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off Not the table. Not plugged in. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Knows with the lad. Yeah, I noticed that it wasn't plugged in myself. So it's just, yeah, not plugged in. Um, we're not gonna go in there quite yet. Have a look down here. Ah, uh, this is why it was, huh? Move you saw it as somebody? What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys maybe, or something. I mean, maybe a lamp. Maybe you chucked her at somebody coming through the door? Mm hmm. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Okay. Yeah, that broken lamp was here, my man. The broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't yeah, any room in the yeah, electric Toad. outlet. Huh? What are it you? It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Toad. I did not plug it in. Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Oh, shit. Okay. Um, I something there some sort of uh, little lines what is that there's some marks here on the windowsill but 
like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. Finger marks. Don't look like you're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Okay, that's, really? that's plausible. Scared Junior off to death. Plausible. Dad. I don't think that's what happened, but it's plausible. Poker with blood on it. What happened here? The poker? What of it? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Could we? This happened before. We got a such a, after such a good sense of smell. Window. After, after. Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Could have been a fable, oh, I, I, guess, suppose, I guess maybe if they heal really the quickly. We did we did stab somebody in the head with an axe and he was wandering around perfectly fine. Um anything else? There's blood here. I've really been meaning to clean the place. There's more blood over here. Oh? Really? Yeah. Still fresh. Still fresh. Like I told you, I cut me hand. Ran around like a tit well, trying sweetie, to figure out a rat. Sweetie, you said, Plus, you said for us. Okay, in the Sheriff, eye. now what? Uh -huh. I thought you cut your foot, my man. Boy, you cut your hand? You told me before that you cut your foot. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Really? I think you hit somebody, or somebody hit you. Oh my god, would you not make a big faff out of this? <laughs> There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you somebody everything you that happened. Why don't head. you believe me? I mean, things have been, you know. Yeah, no I think crime in a little accident. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight. I don't know why you covered for it, but I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up. I the want act. to help you, Toad. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. else I can catch him in the way. Over there. Let's come up here. Let's talk to him. Yeah, it's an awful mess. Forgot where I kept my uh, first aid. Mm -hmm. Come on, Dave. Look, you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just give, come clean. Give me, give me what's, what's going on. on. Place needs a little brooming, that's all. Oh god, we've got that to look at. I did look at that earlier. Why is the lock busted? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Rotten right, just like everything else in this bloody building. Oh, oh, then why, why did you, you climb, climb in, in the window? The window oh. Huh? Why did you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. Thank you. It's been rotten for weeks. So he must have forgotten you to look at in, and he did climb in through the window, know. and that's why Just it what sounded are you right. About, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. Ooh. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. <laughs> With a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this, this sniffing around at me private belongings. I feel like we should tell I'm him the sorry truth I, I call, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? 
No one fought anyone, Bigby. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? <sighs> but that... I don't want to threaten him. I cut me in. I broke the lamp. I forgot my key, so I climbed the sill. That, I believe, is true. There's but no more story to tell, mate. You know. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress. Oh, ouch. Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. <laughs> Take off the hat. Maybe the size of a poker hit? Yeah. <gasps> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, thumb or D. I you think it's strip dumb. them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me Aww. boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. I'm what sorry. the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. What yeah. was he looking for? I have no okay, idea. Okay, I, I wonder I whether he said you. anything. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew... I mean, you don't need to worry. I already knew they were involved. I even tried to give a bath to the coat. You wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. <laughs> uh, sometimes. Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. You are merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin. We know family, who a next of kin anyone. was. All right. Maybe at Fetch least. the fur. Or is it the donkey skin? Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. <laughs> Wait. What is that mysterious object? It's clearly a letter. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Uh... Don't make it a dilemma. Yeah, we're going to open it. Hopefully it's something important. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know whether Prince Lawrence is even alive at the moment. Maybe Lawrence does. I mean, I feel like she's sorry for like well, it's been quite becoming a, a working girl. girl. Us, hasn't it? I see a you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. Okay. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Bye, TJ. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. The trip trap. God, they've been attacked in their home, and the door's, like, been obliterated now. Like, I would not feel safe in that place. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, split a cab? Sure. Mm. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know, someone who will know Hopefully where to find him. know how to find him, yeah. 
It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I mean, maybe my boy Lawrence is still alive. Panic in the palace, huh? Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Yeah, but I still getting some answers out of him. I don't start know to what the first up. person we see. I hope you're right. I don't think it's the one that did it. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. I think I'm I'm it's more more likely to be the pimp than anybody else, to be honest. Faith was in trouble, afraid of someone. I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. Yeah. And maybe maybe There's she wouldn't be dead if I gave her the money. If we find the woodsman. Figure out what that, he knows, he's feeling a little bit of guilt for not giving her the money. That I feel like she would have been dead no matter what I chose, but approach. I feel bad. Are you okay, Snow? Um, thank you. Uh, good job. You're I doing wish a there really. Was a <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's It's nothing. I just I was going to say good job. Seeing all this today. There are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to prostitution. I, I wish there was more we could do. We could look into it. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised oh. folks are. I'm telling you, you should be in charge. Time. You'll fix it. You should be good at it. You care about people. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door, like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything needing help well i turn you away we'll have to fix it then won't we now things are worse off than they've ever been well that's not true right we've had it worse but not by much yeah i guess maybe this isn't get, for me. getting cooked kick, kicked I thought out public thingy. service was pure a way to help you should stick it out there are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. I mean, I'm if I uh, if I want to not no longer be seen as a big bad wolf, I've got to make those choices, right? Those changes. I'm glad that this guy knows where this like chick tap is. Maybe you should handle this one. Yep, maybe I, maybe I should. I feel like you should stay in the taxi, okay? Bigby. Yeah? I... Um, just be careful. Please. Of course. You do. The same goes for you. Okay, I 
feel like there's people over there. Oh, I can't even go look at them. I have to go straight in to the trip trap bar, the bonk. I'm gonna get in a bar fight. I feel like. Do you think I can be nice and lovely and just <laughs> be good? Yep. Oh, and he I've already pissed him off. What do you want, Sheriff? Mm-hmm. Looking for the woodsman. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. Yeah, but have you seen him? Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nuts. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. Mm-hmm. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Does he tell you when to close, too? Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck oh, off. Oh, you break my heart. Maybe we should ask him. Been sitting next to him. Uh, oh, is he in the bathroom? He's in the bathroom, He's isn't the he? <laughs> Someone who left. Uh -huh. You didn't dump it. Why didn't you dump it? I didn't even you think you would still place, be in the bathroom. Feel free to get the fuck out of here. I'm sensing a very hostile tone from you. Don't <laughs> deny it, but I'm good at picking yeah, up on this Yeah, you pissed him off this morning. Uh, let's have a look. The matchbook. That looks familiar. So a lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. The woodsman had one. Oh, there was at least one huh. on the floor, wasn't there? Could get a refund. Fuck you. The word's getting out. That up there, that's him, isn't it? Oh, with her in the picture as well. You guys were close. He a regular? I don't know who you're talking about. Uh -huh. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. Of course. anything else not on the bar to look at I'm guessing oh oh somebody playing oh you guys playing right now nah no oh and I sit next to him automatically huh a lot of stools in this place yeah and I want to sit next to you no, I think there's two next to him. But there's only one right next to you. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? Oh, yeah. I mean, you're bothering the guy next to you. You know what I mean. And we've got the sign. We res reserve the right to refuse service Give to anyone. Give me a Midas gold. You want a line? Mm. No. No. Well, I don't got any anyway. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> sure. It was all right. Uh, let's see what the silence gives us. I don't want to threaten. So I'm just going to glare. Oh, that'll be him, huh? He is in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, oh, there he is. There he is. Hey, I need to talk to you. 
I need to know what you've done since the last time I saw you. Mm-hmm, please. Oh yeah, he's got the bandage on his head. Uh-huh, uh. Number one or number two? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be a bit For cheeky. your sake, uh, I hope it was two. Otherwise, you're probably shitting your pants Can right we, now. Can we, like, get back to the questioning, please? You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. Cool. Yeah, that makes two of well, us. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. So if you can answer my questions. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. Dude, I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Well, that's really a shame. Him tell me that. That is a shame because I'm I'm okay, gonna arrest you for like murder, maybe. <laughs> I don't think he did it. So help me, help you, help me, help you. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know yeah, who okay. you were. Yeah, okay. They lied because yeah. they like him. Well, everyone knows you. Sheriff. Mm-hmm. What in the world is that? Huh? Uh, we'll bluff him. Come on, Woody. Do you know why I'm here? Do you want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. I don't <laughs> think he did it, but we're trying to I'm stay, sure you're you know. To do for money. I'd walked past her place for weeks. Didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. But she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. Oh, Might I fate. finally get up the nerve to do it? There you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, I wasn't there to save her. What are you talking about exactly? Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. Oh. <laughs> I was there to rob him. <laughs> I was I like, that doesn't make sense. Already there, lying in the bed. I only saved her because. I thought she might give me a reward. No. She didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. Mm -hmm. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and yeah. again. Yeah. <laughs> Lot of good that did. Let's get did to the point. Did you kill Faith? What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead oh, calm hours Calm down. Later. We don't think he did it. She's dead. Bigby, listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? Yeah, They're going to string me up, Bigby. Yeah, he might get blamed for this. That it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad. Bad, but I didn't do it. I believe he you. was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby, please. You can't. They'll throw me down the witching well. That's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. He sounds genuine. Give me an option to say I believe him, please. Hey, stop. This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody. Shit ain't just about you. About this fucking lap dog. I'm gonna come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? Yeah, it's about the girl that's been murdered, dude. It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go. I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits oh. about her. Paperwork. Waiting rooms and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. Yeah. I wouldn't call her. Yeah, that. I like Snow, so it's like, before, don't call her fucking doesn't bitch. Doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. I have no option to do anything but hit. Oh, I oh, didn't hit him. Good. 
Teen Wolf on your ass. Oh, that was badass. Immediate stop. We done? Are we done here? You've got him. I can't. I can't get the button. Oh, close. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Oh, I'm like, that's enough, but I keep hitting him. I feel like I need somebody to, like, he's in he's the heat. Enough. Yeah, I was going to say, he's in the heat of battle. So he wouldn't say any, he wouldn't do anything until somebody knocked him out of it. You know, he was angry and pissed. He, he lost control, basically, when he turned into a wolf. Hmm. Whiskey. Jesus Christ, Double. dude. Why'd you have to be like that? That was rude. That was incredibly rude, actually. Just give him the bottle, like, just like, there's barely anything left in that. Oh, calm down. Alcohol calms us down, eh? Ugh. We've got the money, let's pay for the drink. We bought a drink, okay? Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? No. No. If you come quietly, you'll be treated with respect. But if it turns out that you killed that girl, well... Yeah. You know what that I means. say if you killed the girl, you go in the witching well. I don't think you killed the girl, so you know. Alright. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named... Hey, fella. So, you, I'd also like you to come into the, uh, the, the office, huh? It's not necessary. Shit. He's the one you want, not me. Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told yeah. you I didn't do it. And you've got nothing to worry about. I don't think he did it either. I want to know who he's working for. Oh, 
I think we've got pretty much all we can out of Woody at the moment. And if we haven't, I think it'll be easy to get things out of him. Why are the police cars here? Do anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. No, 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 don't threaten that. No, no, no. Oh, that's not good. Did they find out about the head? I doubt it. What are we, what are we looking at? What have we seen? Is that a beast? Okay. Oh, oh, that doesn't look good. What are we looking at? Somebody else on the steps? <gasps> no, not Snow. No, she, she can't be dead. No, no. Fuck, is she dead? The lights so tall. And it's time on the Wolf Among Us. Very special. She can't be dead. Where's your she? brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Oh. Where's the rest of them? <gasps> She's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Oh. Oh my! A serial killer? Oh God, and it's one of us. Wait, the woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. Oh, I found out where she can stay. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. percent of players held on to your money you and 59 players 59 percent of players lied and said you hadn't seen beauty you and 30.8 percent of players went to see prince lawrence before helping code we prevented prince lawrence's death okay so we did stop him i was worried for because he was about to shoot himself in the head i was really worried that as soon as we like left he would, you know, go and shoot himself. Uh, you and 22.6% of players pointed their finger at face pimp. Cause I, I mean, uh, Bluebeard, is that his name? He's He could be involved. We don't know. We've not actually met the guy, so we can't really say anything just yet. 4% of us thought it was um the, the husband. But... He's been he's been laying there for like weeks, so unless he just looks like that. Sixty-eight point seven percent of players made sure Tweedle D didn't get away. Because I think that even if you did think it was a woodsman, he was very convincing when he was like, I didn't kill him. Okay. That is it for this episode. Next episode, what was it? Smoke and mirrors? Yeah. That was that was a bit of a bit of a bit of a noise, wasn't it? But yeah, I didn't realize. I mean, I need I need to reread uh, volume one at least of Fables to see if I can understand it. Like, I wasn't expecting like a, like a private detective, you know, a noir like sort of murder mystery. Don't know what I was expecting actually, but uh, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> 
really hope that Snow isn't dead. I think she's like a prominent figure in in the comics, but you know, obviously they can, you know, do what they want with it really. I guess they could like go a completely different direction. I don't think they have, but they could have. So I'm I'm excited to find out who who the murderer is, I guess. Find out more about the pimp. It seems like next week we're going to be finding out about that. And, uh, yeah, it, I, I, well, I can't even speak. I can't speak. But it definitely seems like Bigby has a thing for Bluebird, right? Because he's got his folder. He's got, like, a case open against him. I guess he wants to, like, throw him down the witching well. Uh, yeah, well... We'll skip the end of the credits. And while you guys can hop off now if you want, I'm just going to have a look at the book of the fables. The ones that I did not uh, get to during the during the game. Okay, so we found out Faith, Donkey Skin Girl, made it through the exodus from the magical homeland with the clothes on her back, her husband and nothing else. She was once a beautiful princess, happily married to Prince Florence of a neighbouring kingdom. Her life should have had a happy ending. But the mundane city of New York wasn't kind to her or her marriage. With no money, Faith found herself turning tricks to make rent for a cheap apartment on the outskirts of Fabletown. She had a difficult life, but she did what she could to survive in an unfamiliar world. Prince Lawrence. Uh, after the escaping, they immediately fell victim to the harsh realities of the mundane world. They moved to New York, hoping to find aid in a community of fellow fables, but without enough money to live in Fable Town, they had to settle in an apartment outside the outskirts of the neighborhood. Unfortunately, that, unfortunately, that meant they were out of sight and out of mind when it came to government assistance. Their prospects dwindling, Faith left Lawrence to try to make it on her own. Now, without his wife's support, Lawrence struggles to motivate himself and quickly sinks into depression. Oh, the Tweedles. Zum and G are thugs for hire. They appear human, allowing them to carry out their contracts in the Mundy world without drawing suspicion. They are inseparable as they are ruthless. And Holly is a no-nonsense kind of troll and the owner of the Trip Trap Bar. She's glamoured to appear human, but her patrons know better. Holly takes good care of her regulars, often the downtrodden fables, with little to spare, but she has no patience for the Fable Town government that has done nothing to locate her missing sister. So that's mentioned in her bio as well. So I wonder whether it's not just the two girls that have gone missing. Two girls. Whether it's not just Faith or Snow. Whether there's maybe more of them as well. So Grendel just wants to be left alone. In the old days he terrorised Nord Mead Halls. But lately he can be found occupying a stool in various quite dumpy bars in around New York. He hates the noise of the city but must work there to afford his glamour. Despite his tough, gruff bearing, he's fiercely loyal to those who have learned to offer him the space and silence he desires. Talking to him is like watching a time bomb tick. Tick down, it's only a matter of time. Okay. Bigby's mercy, what's this about? In the days leading up to the exodus, the big bad wolf hunted armies of men and goblins in the Black Forest. These invading forces had driven off the great beasts of the Third Quarry, and their own flesh was rotten with corruption, hardly suitable replacements. He made it his game to destroy their camps, devour their night watchmen, and disrupt their supply trains while he spared their prisoners. One day he broke their ranks and discovered a particular woman they held captive. Her skin was white as snow, but her hair was as dark as the night sky. He approached her, and she, knowing no sword could match the giant wolf's power, bravely placed her shackles in the beast's mouth. He freed her, but years would pass before the two would meet again in the Mundy world. Oh, so she is d completely important to him. Like, people are not wrong when they say that she, that he's in love with her, I guess. So, yes, that is, um, 
that is it for the episode and I hope you enjoyed it I certainly did I'll see you in episode two